Right, welcome back to another battle report. Here we have another video from the X-Wing Invitational we ran a while, a while back now. I'm Scott, I'm here with Ali, Yo. who's actually in this game. Uh, we're just going to talk about his match with uh, Luke King. Yeah, this was, I mean, Luke and I always have fun games, so I, I remember this one really well. We had a great time. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure you edited out most of the uh, shenanigans. <laughs> there, were, there were plenty of shenanigans. <laughs> so you're playing a list you've kind of become known for around these parts. You're playing your two slavers and your, your talk boat. Yeah, um, I, I've retired it for now, but this list is so much fun to play just because of um, how tanky it is and um, how much forward planning you need in order to play it successfully. Um, yeah, you've got like 33 hull, I believe. <laughs> 33 wounds on the ships. Yeah, yeah, I always used to carry a pile of shield tokens around with me, just, uh, you know, not the acrylic ones, because I usually just throw them around the room anyways. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so opposite you, we got Luke. He's playing his uh, Whisper Omega Leader Omicron Group Pilot List. It's, uh, it, it's a palp shuttle. It's got baffle, so he can, he can do some re repetitive stops, he can do some red moves and, <laughs> and remove the stress and stuff like that. Luke getting into the camera there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So... So what what how do you approach this matchup? Um, I gotta I gotta see how Luke's gonna approach me, but um, if you can see my deployment, I've deployed on an angle that way it's easier for me to deal with any attempts for him when he gets when he tries to get around me. Yep. Um, so you can see that I'm starting to turn in aggressively towards the shuttle now, and my my aim is to just blow up Palpatine as soon as possible. Yeah, that slaver there, that's the that's the Boba slaver, right? Yeah, the black one is the Boba slaver. Yeah, that one's fit nicely between those rocks. It's got many options for movement. It can go, it can sort of head towards the middle of the board if it needs to, or it can just yeah. do a sharp turn back to the the bottom. The one eighty degree firing arc is insane. Oh, it's just crazy, and if you can utilize it um, properly, it's. Yeah, ships just don't get out of your arm. Mm. This this game is, of course, before the recent rules update, so you will you do have a torp boat, yeah, and you will be using it the way it used to work. Yeah, um, I could I could use this ship um, or this builder's current iteration and take a full party bus instead of just the Zucker Stinger on the one ship. Okay, so what's a party bus? Let's, let's go through that. Uh, the party bus is a transition slaver with Zucker Stinger and Fallon, mm -hmm. and it's basically designed to shut down aces. <laughs> <laughs> Luke We're just getting really into it. Oh my god! So we've got a bit of a joust here from Whisper, who's going to basically rely on her agility to survive this initial encounter. Yeah, and I mean, let's be honest. Where's Whisper going to go after this shot anyway? There's a slaver right, right behind there. Four hits is a good start. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to blank it. Oh, that, that's a straight up four shields. <laughs> That's a very impressive opening gambit. Not, not to worry. Not to worry. No, you're not. You're not worried. You weren't worried when you essentially lost half a ship in one roll. No, no, man. Shields are nothing. They just disappear. You got shields for days. Uh, that's right. I mean, as long as I kill stuff before I lose things, I'm happy. Oh, well, that's fine. So your plan is to sort of attrition out the wisp, but try and take some damage, but also deal some back. Yeah, that's right, and that's why that's why I took take such durable ships because. Mm. Hopefully they do just suffer some shields and then dish an even bigger attack in response. Right. So Luke's going to stop three here, which he does. So this that talk was essentially wasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you got to take the opportunity when you can. But um, that that uh, that talk boat's now a um, now a prime target because it is shieldless. So crits will start counting for for something. Like they have nine, but now it's down to five. Five goes away real quick when you've got crits involved. Yeah, that's right. Uh, as long as I move the scout correctly, Whisper's Whisper's gonna have a few turns of um, work ahead of her. And yeah, like good. she she can either turn in. She can. She, she's, he's probably gonna cloak forward, and then what you you you're expecting the fight straight? So fight straight? You expecting the? What what do you? Uh, knowing Luke is up and looking at this is prime. It's prime <laughs> time for a K turn. Get that ship out of there. It's yeah. way too big. Yeah, just play with the bases, honestly. <clears throat> that's it. So that, look at that arc. That arc covers pretty much every area Whisper could feasibly end up. Yeah, that's right. And um, look at that arc on the slave on that slaver as well. He did a three hard, but he still uh, maintained arc on on the shuttle on the and shuttle Omega leader. Omega leader. So. Like they're still yet to move, but they haven't really got much of a like space to move. You've really given those ships no quarter. 
Yeah, that's right. Uh, and that's what's so good about flying three big ships. You just get in the way and um, you know, get bumps off. And the low pilot skill means you're going to get your actions before they are. You're gonna, your focuses are going to be better than theirs. Yeah, I, I certainly prefer to play the lower pilot skill. I really like the idea of um, taking position over trying to react to your opponent. Right, fair enough. Yeah. Well, so yeah, we've got, I've got a double bump here, putting Luke in a bit of a disadvantage this early on. Oh no, he didn't case her. Didn't case her. Oh, Luke, getting tricky. Well, he wants to. He needs his action. Like he knows, he knows you. You know him. This is the thing. When you play against people, yeah, quite often you end up playing the player more than the the list or the oh, game. That's absolutely right. So he maybe thought you expected the K turn, so he knew you were going to turn in. That there, he's he's so he needs to take the cloak. And yeah, it's it's all a bit of a yeah. mind game. Oh, that's right. And where the scout is now, he's still alive. He's still going to get another chance to fire off his torps. Um, and mm. Whisper's in a really compromising position. That looks like it, that looks like it's range one to the slave. It definitely looks range focus one. Focus and Dengar. So that's that's a really. So you've, consistent you've taken a cheeky range three shot at Whisper. You've got two. There's two of faces. That's a boatload of dice. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you're kind of just hoping that he uses palp there. Yeah, yeah. That would have been nice. So we're gonna take we're gonna take the range one shot with the Zucker Slave, and that's four hits. Look at that four evades, but we have we've got a, a, a very a very good one point upgrade, notorious, if you will. Yes, um, I think I might have been one of the first people to pick up on how good this you were very this early. But was. this is that is one point worth of uh, worth of X wing there for you folks. You've just spent one point of upgrade to turn four evades <laughs> into four points take and four stress. snuck a blinder pilot in on Whisper this early in the game. Yeah, it's like four stress to put three damage on Whisper. What, what, what's, what's yeah, four, four stress is the same as two, let's be honest. Once you've got two, you may as well have infinite stress. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but, yeah, let's be honest, he's got Dengar and I'm facing two named pilots, so I've always got you've always got the modification consistency to my attack. Oh, that's another one damage sneaking through there. So if you look at the left side of the screen here, Whisper's down to one. Omega Leader's lost his shield. The the shuttle's taken a couple of hits. Like that was a very favorable turn for you. Yeah, absolutely. And the Whisper's gonna be um, out of this for a while. Mm. Is that is that decloak blocked? Because that's that's huge if that decloak's blocked. Yeah, I don't know what Luke's planning on doing here, but <laughs> he's me talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> when programming the Phantom, if you like you've got to really be careful that if like you've got to have a contingency plan. Yeah. Because he would have been thinking it might fit. I hope it fits. If it fits, I'm going to program this. But it, the program, the movie programs has to also be good with the decloak forward. Exactly. Or the no decloak at all. Exactly. And um, you know where where Whisper is now, it's actually really hard for me to maintain my shots on mm. her. So I actually have to just abandon my my attack against Whisper and make a move against his other ships. That's exactly right. The, the trucks are lovingly called trucks because they, they, they fly like them. They, they're not great at turning around. They, they kind of rely on their wide arc to actually yeah. get shots at all. Yeah, and it's a, it's a really fun um, arc to try and maintain. It's, uh, it's a lot easier than a fire spray, I find. Mm -hmm. Even though the, um, the fire spray might arguably have a larger degree of firing. Well, you've got... You've got two less than 90 degree firing arcs on a fire spray, whereas you have exactly 180 degrees on the thing. So you actually have more, but it's all in the front. Right, yeah, and that's a, that's a lot easier to manage. Mm. So Omega Lead is coming in and sort of going for the the already damaged Contractor Scout on the left here. Yeah. Whisper's coming in. So, yeah, he wanted Whisper to be a little closer to the center of the board, I imagine. Well, Whisper's got a blinded pilot, so... Probably doesn't want to be cloaked at this point. No, he definitely time. wants to be decloaked and try and get a sneaky shot. No matter how bad it is, he wants to remove that blinded pilot. Well, that's right. I mean, even if, even if he doesn't have a target uh, to actually shoot, he can still flip the blinded pilot. Yes, but unfortunately, the cloak token forbids that. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna see we're gonna see some some battling between the scout and Omega Leader here. Using those fancy uh, general games invitational cards, <laughs> I see. That that is true. So we've got a target lock from Omega Leader on the scout. So the scout won't be able to modify anything no. on the well, attack a, or the defense. Well, there's a blanking. Well, we won't have to modify from that one. Yeah, so no damage there, which is fantastic. Yes. And Yule would obviously shoot first. He's got... Yeah, I don't trust Luke, so I'm checking range as well. Mm -hmm. So we've got, a, we've got a sneaky long range shot. All right, this is this is the scout. Yeah, you rolled double oh, focus, but you, it's a, it's a pilot. you weren't able to... Weren't able to sneak any damage through. Nah, I was a bit greedy trying to do that. I probably should have just fired my torps, to be honest. Mm. 
Well, you, do you really want to fire your tops when you can't modify at all? Because that's the strength of the tops before the rules change, obviously, was the like mm. limitless modification, realistically. Yeah. Well, it looks like... Um... Before we go on to that, it looks like a, a Mega Leader cop to crit there. What was that? Yeah, that, that was from the the Boba right on the side. Oh, yeah, Greedo is amazing. Greedo is very strong. So you've got... <laughs> <laughs> you're really pulling out all the scum and villainy stops here. You've got you got Zuckers to kind of illicitly sneak damage to you. You've yeah. got Greedo to make things worse. This is definitely like scum and villainy. Like, this is definitely what they're trying to be doing in, in X-Wing well, in general. Right. The main strategy of this, this war is basically to try and strip strip shields off of something and then try and utilize Greedo to land those crits. Yeah. It does work in my favor most of the time because I've got six shields. Right. Um, but, you know, if there's enough of a swarm, like a crack swarm, which was pretty popular back in the day, I could actually lose a slaver before before I even shoot. So there's, um, there's a bit of a downside to playing PS2s at that point in time. It was very um, unattractive. Now, the, the, this is an interesting bump because it could very easily land on that debris field. I think... Uh, it's hard to see from where I'm sitting, but I think it lands without hitting the debris field, which yeah. is good. But it's still a bump. That's that's two consecutive bumps from this shuttle. It's no actions. Like it, It's still adding a lot of uh, yeah. value, obviously, because of Palpatine. But you know, we've got the K-turn from the Omega Leader here trying to get just keep shots on the Contractor Scout. Yeah, which, absolutely. So that scout is still on five hull left. We're getting there. All right, so we've got a very, very close shot from the slavers. The Phantom's coming in for really its, its second shot of the game, which yeah. will be blinded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. So, I mean, obviously Zuckus has paid off in dividends just by doing that. Straight to combat, he used his shot at the scout to flip the blinder pilot down. Mm. Uh, we're going to do a cloak. We're going to get a focus token. No, this focus is from the action. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if... He, since he didn't perform an attack, should he get to cloak then? No, yeah, yeah, there we go. I was just thinking the exact same thing. I was like, I wonder if that was a mistake. Yeah. But no, we fixed that. I like that you just threw the cloak token across the room. You're like, that's not how this oh, works. I put it with Luke. Uh, <laughs> Luke shenanigans. Luke shenanigans. <laughs> I don't know, I get away with that. Why is he rolling dice? Because he's shooting with a mega leader. Oh, but it, it was it, to us another error. He, he, he tried oh, to roll yeah. two with his weapons failure. He's trying to, always trying to get more than he deserves. So you swiftly throw two evades at him. <laughs> We're all good. Juke that one. Oh wait, no evade token. <laughs> Here comes the shuttle for. These rolls have been consistently average. We haven't seen any any spectacular. I don't think. Yeah, I think he popped that first crit as well mm. in the first round. So he hasn't he hasn't um, been his typical self, that's for sure. And here I, can, I look pretty excited for this round, actually. Yeah. I'm commenting on both sides. Like, the rolls have been pretty average on both sides. Like, nothing, apart from, like, the four of eights at the start, yeah. nothing has been very, like, extreme. We've seen a lot of, like, two hits and a focus or focus hit blank. Yeah, and that's then true. The modifications have been king, which is telling of the game because your ships have been able to modify a lot more than Luke's have this time around. Yeah, that's right. And also, I mean, the amount of hull helps mitigate the, any damage that Luke deals anyway. Right, that's true. Oh, we could, we snuck through another Greedo hit here. What do we got? We got a, a, another Blinded Pilot. That's you, two, that's both Blinded Pilots out of the same deck. You have no idea how many times Luke and I actually see Blinded Pilot. Yeah, I, I remember you guys laughing a lot during this game because of the sheer amount of Blinded Pilots. So we, we, Luke's deck is completely out of them. Your deck is... Uh, Still got two in them. I'm sure we'll yeah. see them later. <laughs> I, I, I think I, I think I remember actually getting one, but um, I'm not going to. It was a long time ago, so I'm not going to um, bank on that. I right. Would, I wouldn't bet on it. Fair enough. So you've just kind of jammed your your slaver <laughs> right in the middle of the board here, hoping to just block all the avenues, hoping for a third bump on the shuttle. I imagine. Maybe get the Omega Leader <laughs> bump as well. Well, with, the best thing about that Boba Slaver is that it has K4 security droids, so it's just, it does a green move, it doesn't care if it's on a debris field because it can still shoot, it's still got right. shields, um, it'll get its target lock and it's got its wide arc to try and maintain arc as well. Well that's exactly right, like, so you, you just basically fly these two ships without actions as much as possible. Zucker's Slaver's never shooting after the first turn. <laughs> that's, 
we're never doing an action after the first turn, and the Boba Slaver is just rolling over debris fields and getting in the way, bumping into everything. Yeah, they don't, these ships do not care about obstacles as long as they don't land on top of roads. Yeah, it's fair. And they're using their, their illicit bounty hunter upgrades to to swing the odds in their favor. This yeah. shuttle is not having a good day. No, it's just... It's just kind of stalled and it's getting stuck behind the... Uh, the space traffic that you've provided for him. Yeah, it's just constantly under pressure. These trucks just, um, yeah, boxed it in. Boxed mm. it. So he's, he's going to have a shot on one of the two ships. I believe it looks like he's going to bump into the slaver, so he's going to be able to shoot the scout. Whisper's still still yet to move. She might even bump, depending how fast she's moving. Yeah, Luke, Luke tends to play conservatively, so I'm expecting maybe a... Two straight, three straight at the very most. Oh, we snuck, oh. we snuck a crit through from this debris field. Oh, uh, straight not... up direct hit. <laughs> that I actually had not noticed the amount of damage that's gone through on an Omicron group pilot. Luke, Luke is getting a little unlucky in this game. It is um... like a lot of it's engineered by you. Like the opening was definitely your favor. Favor the 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 action economy has definitely been in your favor. Mm. Uh, and now he's just getting completely punished. <laughs> and he's using my template to perform a barrel or something. I guess this is just karma. He's, he's just he's using your template, so he's just rolling crits on debris fields and crashing into things. <laughs> he's got a real attitude problem. <laughs> right, so Whisper has got the bump. That contractor scout has been worth every point this game. Yeah, it's just, like I said, as long as it's alive, it's doing something. And it's a big deal because he doesn't have an action now. Well, it's not even below half yet. That's right, so... It yes. took a warping in the first encounter, but now it's just... It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's getting in 360 arc. It's getting in the way. It's got barrel. It's being a blocker. And there's another... And you <laughs> the one hit to one of eight. This, <laughs> this is what actions do for you, folks. Like, if Luke had actions there, that would have been three hits. Yeah, that would have been three hits, and I wouldn't... I mean, I'd take two at the very least. Mm. So this... You've played a very good sort of chess-style game here. You've gotten positioning to your advantage. You've yeah. gotten in the way... Yeah. Well, here we go. Here's, here's a roll. Wow. Here's a roll and a half. So we got we got a hit and two crits sneaking through. Contractor oh, scout takes yeah. a blinder pilot. <laughs> there it is, <laughs> and a, a and a direct hit. So this this game has been just blinder piles and direct hits. Yeah, that is fantastic. <laughs> With a small sprinkling of weapons failure. <laughs> do you find a lot of your games are crit heavy because of because of Greedo? Yes, I do. And um, it's when that when that starts happening, I, my ships start dying very quickly. Right. Yeah. It's. They can take a lot of crits, the slavers, because they do have six hulls. So it's, um, but they just get worse and worse as the game progresses. Yeah, all of a sudden, they're t they're, you know, damage engine is bad. Weapon <laughs> failure is bad. Damage engine on Zucker Slave would be pretty horrible. Oh, yeah. Because it relies on that three yard. Yeah, and I just, I mean, because I did one banks all the time, I could not tell for the life of me where, oh, Whisper's dead. That's a dead Whisper. <laughs> that's, just, that's what happens when you get shot. Yeah. With so many dice. I mean, Zucker's just pays off. Mm-hmm. Here's the, the the patented three hard, keeping that arc. Look look at that arc. Look at where it went from and where it is now. Omega leaders really hasn't got much to work with here because no. he's got to move around that debris field, avoid the shuttle that's probably going to move very slowly forward, that's but also cool. avoid the two slavers. And then their arc is covering pretty much the entire lower half of the board here. <laughs> there is nowhere where uh, there is nowhere for Omega leader to go. You might go one half to the right, but then. Again, like you said, in arc of both of them. Right, and with a single hull left, it's not looking good. You can't target lock everything. That's right. This scout's just going to go around, get its focus, use its 360 firing arc to just pick away damage. Yeah, the fact that he's still there just means that Luke has to invest another round of shooting, especially with Whisper gone, and that's a big deal. Yeah, um, having it down to one is basically insulting for Luke. He's, is. he's looking at this scout going, I have to eventually spend resources to kill that, but I really don't want to. Yeah, that's right. It, with, with the torp still on it as well, you kind of have to. Oh, the it. tempo is so strong there. You've just got He's got to kill three ships, essentially, even though one's basically dead. If, it's, if this game was only down to two ships, he'd feel a lot better. He would. So he's doing a four straight. Is that straight over the debris field, taking a stress, rolling it. Just a hit. Hits are fun. Hits are fun. Is he going to palp it to a crit? No. <laughs> I think you made the same joke then because he considered it. Uh, uh, and then we got we got the, the he's taking a shot at that scout uh, yeah, single hit using the target using the target lock getting trying to kill it double of eight <laughs> using the focus to stay alive. I feel like my green dice have been that has got to feel awful. 
And your dice have been your dice have been above average, I'd say, your green dice especially. Yeah. But I don't think that it, it seems like a normal spread. Like what's happened is Luke's red dice have been bad because of the lack of actions and you've rolled like the one you needed to stop the that, one hit. That's a that's a very good point. Yeah, if he had his evade token because he didn't need to go with the um debris, then yeah, he'd exactly. juke it and I wouldn't be able to do And he'd that. actually be dead. Yeah. But like you've, you've rolled maybe you've rolled one evade or no evades, but you've only rolled them on really poor attacking rolls, so it hasn't you've really noticed the impact when yeah. when you attack it with four dice rolls, one hit, and you roll one evade, it's the best thing in the world. Yeah, but if you'd have rolled right. four, it's basically negligible how much you roll. Exactly. And you know, Mega Leader's dead now, so I'm so I'm just playing a safe game with the scout. It doesn't need to die. This is just um, good tournament practice, even though this isn't a tournament. To well, yeah, you're saving it. half its points value just by keeping it on the board. Yeah, that's right. And your two slavers are very far off being being like a liability, so you may as well just keep jamming with those. Yeah. The shuttle really can't fly very well. It's got three hull left. This game is pretty much as good as done. Yeah, it looks like my slaver bumped this bumped the overcross. There's so. there's the concession. He thought he'd get one more move and step out of it. No. But oh well well flown by both. I feel the opening kind of really sealed that game. You had you had so much damage on the initial encounter. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, I'd consider that game a clean-up. Nothing against Luke. But yeah. yeah. I only lost half on one ship, and that's really the best I could ever expect with that list. Oh, well, thanks for coming on. Yeah, we'll uh, probably have you back in the future. Yeah, I'd like to do it some more. Uh, thanks for watching. Have, uh, find us over at uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, those things, uh, YouTube, and we'll see you next time.